I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hi guys. Oh jeez. Holy moly. Sorry about that. I got I got all tied up today. Too many things working on tax stuff. Our water filter gave out. I had to run emergency run the Lowe's. So I had to put up my hazmat suit so I could go to Lowe's. If you're here the other night, I, I kept whining about um a buzz and I and I thought there was uh, oh, there there was a dead battery in my guitar but it also turns out there's something loose inside there so I have to have to call Dr. Steve Pratt the guitar doctor see if I can get Sparky looked at I'm going to pull up some songs that I haven't done for a long time good oh sorry about that oh, I keep doing that stop it stop it stop it okay. Good friend of mine and uh, fellow musician, great musician and songwriter by the name of Neil Havener, lives in Cincinnati, uh, Columbus. Almost called him a Columbus uh, Cincinnatian. And uh, Neil went on a couple tours with me. And, and one time we were heading down, the, our, the very first time we ever went on a tour together, we headed down towards the Carolinas to do a couple shows, I think. This was right after my first album came out. And I had this old um, Ford Aerostar van. So the gear's in the back. And, and um, it's a rather long trip. Neil, I think, had a gig the night before we left. So we're driving down the road, and uh, Neil's sitting in the passenger side, and he's kind of dozing off. And every once in a while, we'd go by this whole field, and I'd notice Neil going like this. I mean, he wasn't even looking up. He was just kind of going like this, waving out the window. And after about three or four times, I said, Neil, what the hell are you doing, man? You're just waving. He says, oh, well, there were some cows out in the field. And he said uh, he had a friend of his whose name was Bob, and he said, Bob had a habit of waving at cows whenever he'd go by a, a field of cattle. Because he said, you know, they're kind of lonely out there all by themselves, so I just wave at them. So uh, that stuck in my head for several months. And then one night I was sitting around, probably had a few too many scotches or something, and came up with this song. And I always dedicated to Neil Havener because he, he was my inspiration for this song. And I haven't done this song forever. It's called Bob Waves at Cows. Got a friend named Bob, he's not sure what to do. Bob's got not, Bob's not got a real job like most folks do. Bob loves all God's creatures, he treats them like they're me or you. He hops in his car and drives all around just doing what he wants to do. Now Madeline's a massage therapist. She works her fingers to the bone. No one can say her last boring. Weekend, she's never at home. She hops in her 83 Volvo and drives out into the woods, thanking the home of the animals, saves them from piles of firewood. I'm not really sure why. And I'm not sure how. But Madeline hugs trees And Bob waves at cows Now we're living in a society Where folks think this is weird Walking down the street each day Thinking these people should be feared Bob and Madeline are good people just like you and me, they just show their love in different ways. One waves at cows, the other hugs trees. I'm not really sure why. I'm not really sure how. But Madeline hugs trees and Bob waves at cows.
Now I like camping and I drink milk. I eat a burger with my fries. Sometimes I chop a little firewood. I wouldn't tell you no lies. But the next time I'm sucking on a milkshake, I'll give thanks to Elsie the cow. The next time I'm out in the deep woods, I'll hug a tree. Cause now I know how. I'm not really sure why. I'm not really sure how. But Madeline hugs trees. And Bob waves at cows. Yeah, Madeline hugs trees. And Bob waves at cows. From the archives, Bob Waves the Cows, 19, oh, sorry, 1994, I wrote that song, has not been recorded until this very moment. Well, I, um, this is on my uh, very first set list whenever I played live, and uh, Chris Christopherson, I was thinking today, I, I, uh, if somebody were to ask me who my favorite songwriter of all times is, um, I, I don't think I could say one person because there are so many people who have, who have had an effect on me in my life. This guy is one of them. His name's Chris Christopherson. Of course, number one on the whole list would be John Prine. But uh, I'd probably have to do like a top ten, and I know there, there'd be Christopherson and Rodney Crow and John Prine and Nancy Griffith and some other people like that. But um, anyway, this is one. Of, I was playing a Saturday night out near the Columbus airport back in, I think it was 75. It was my very first live gig. And um, I thought I was, I thought I was really clever because uh, it was Saturday night and I was finishing out the night and I pull, pulled this song out. I said, after this song, y'all don't have to go to church tomorrow. Jesus, whoa, whoa, and I did in a different key because my voice was higher back then. Jesus was a Capricorn, he ate organic foods. He believed in love and peace and never wore no shoes. Long hair, beard, and sandals, and a funky bunch of friends. I reckon they'd just nail him up if he come down again. Cause everybody's gotta have somebody to look down on Who they can feel better than anytime they please Someone doing something dirty he's supposed to frown on You can't find nobody else, help yourself to me Eggheads cussing, rednecks fussing, hippies for the hair. Others laugh at straights who laugh at freaks who laugh at squares. Some folks hate the whites who hate the blacks who hate the clan. Some folks hate anything that they don't understand. Everybody's gotta have somebody to look down on who they can feel better than. Anytime they please Someone doing something dirty He's supposed to frown on You can't find nobody else Help yourself to me Everybody's gotta have somebody To look down on Who they can feel better than Anytime they please Someone doing something dirty He's supposed to frown on you can't find nobody else, help yourself to me. You can't find nobody else, help yourself to me. Boy, there's that rattle. There you go, Chris Christopherson. Thank you, Chris, for that wonderful song. I, lo I love that song. That's a great song. Kind of, kind of thought-provoking great song. And, uh... Should have done that Saturday night, because then y'all wouldn't have had to go to... Oh, nobody had to go to church on Sunday, you know. Um, 
I guess God's up there going, yeah, that's all right. Um, um, Charlie Daniels. I don't know where I went with that one. People say I'm no good, crazy as a loon. I get stoned in the morning, I get drunk in the afternoon. Kinda like my old blue tip hound, I like to lay around in the shade. I ain't got no money, but I damn sure got it made. I ain't asking nobody for nothing. I can't get it on my own. You don't like the way I'm living. You just leave this long hair country boy alone. Preacher man talking on TV, putting down rock and roll. Wants me to send a donation cause he's worried about my soul. He said, Jesus walked on the water. I know that is true. Sometime I think that preacher man, he want to do a little walking too. I ain't asking nobody for nothing. I can't get it on my own. You don't like the way I'm living. Just leave this long hair country boy alone. Poor girl wants to marry, rich girl wants to flirt. Rich man goes to college while a poor man goes to work. A drunkard wants another drink of wine and the politician wants my vote. Me, I don't want nothing at all, but I will take another toke. I ain't asking nobody for nothing. I can't get it on my own. You don't like the way I'm living. You just leave this long hair country boy alone. You don't like the way I'm living. You just leave this long hair country boy alone. Ron, you got your CD. That's great. So the mail is still running. Got a message from Peg today, uh, Peg Buchanan. That's funny. We're having some problems here, and I don't know why. Oh well. Um, she got a she got a package today. I sent a package off to her, and she's not playing with me. She plays with a folk group called Boomerang, and uh, her guitar player was looking for sh- shum some strings, guitar strings, and. Uh, so I got a hold of Dario, got him a set of strings. Didn't know how badly he needed them, so I threw them in the mail Saturday. Wow, that's two days. So anyway, glad you guys joined me. And I also want to thank everybody. I think there were three of you who uh, sent me messages uh, yesterday, hoping that I was feeling better. Actually, it was early this morning. I think I was getting messages. Um, there's a reason that God doesn't want old people doing landscaping and climbing up on roofs. Last night, I, uh, man, I, I, I was about four or five hours working out in the yard yesterday, and by about seven o'clock, I told my wife, I said, I got to go find the lazy boy and see if Ezra Brooks will come and sit with me for a while. It's a brand of bourbon. <laughs> so talking about the wife, let's do this song that I wrote for her. Oh, see, there's that rattle. I'm sorry about that. Lay me down and roll me over. Make me feel like a four leaf clover just fell right into my hand. You know that I love you, and you know that I need you, and I want you to want me for your man. 
You're no back door lady, ain't no front door fool. You're just somebody's darling, yeah, that's you. I just want to love you and I want you to love me too. And everyone will know this one where once there were two. The first time that I saw you, I was sure, yeah, I knew you were the only one for me. Every night I'd have that same dream. I knew it could only mean you and me together were meant to be. You're no back door lady ain't no front door fool you're just somebody's darling yeah that's you i just want to love you and i want you to love me too and everyone will know there's one where once there were two Now we've been together for what seems like forever. I'm so glad that you've chosen me. The proverbial hand in glove, yeah, that scribes our love and we will be as happy as can be. Cause you're no back door lady, no front door fool. You're just somebody's darling, yeah, that's you. I just want to love you and I want you to love me too. And everyone will know this one where once there were two. Yeah, everyone will know this one where once there were two. couple more songs for you and I, I don't know there's something going weird with my guitar and it's really kind of upsetting to me um, this is Sparky and uh, she's just not responding it's just, just a, it's, it's a sad thing for me I don't know what's wrong with her something's wrong something's wrong with Sparky so, um, so it looks like both Sparky and Loretta are going to be going to the hospital in the next couple days to get fixed right there i can feel the wires loose in there so um so i'm gonna do two more songs for you i'm, I'm gonna do a, a guitar type song for you and then i'm gonna do an acapella you know without voice um and it's it's a song that um somebody asked me if i was going to do it on saint patrick's day and i was we were going to go to the o'reilly uh, the annual O'Reilly St. Patrick's Day party, which obviously got uh, got canned because of uh, this thing that's going on. And I hope you all are feeling feeling okay and everybody's taking care of each other and taking care of yourselves. I know we're doing okay here. See there? Got a little, got a little squeak. So I'm going to do a song uh, that I wrote for my uh, uncle, Bill, Billy Warren Hawkins. Uh, he was down in Harrisburg, Illinois. Passed away about 1993 or 1994. And when news came down that he was at the Veterans Hospital in St. Louis and he wasn't doing well, I wrote this song. Actually, I wrote this song on the, the old, uh, this old guitar right here. Um, and my intent was to play it on that when when I decided a couple weeks ago I was going to do this and uh, this is a 1936 uh, parlor guitar that was bought at a pawn, pawn shop by my, my grandpa back about 37 or 38 for my uncle Bob O'Reilly and she's fallen apart so it's going to be two or three hundred bucks worth of work just to get her playable so so anyway I'm going to play it on this guitar but Uncle Bill Hawkins uh, was down in Harrisburg and I've told the story before when Whenever the Hawkins boys turned 12, we'd go down to Harrisburg to visit my grandma and grandpa and Uncle Bill and Aunt Ramona live right next door to them. Whatever pickup truck Uncle Bill happened to own the summer that we would go down when we turned 12, that was the pickup truck that he would teach us how to drive. So the year that I turned 12, it was a 48 Studebaker pickup truck. Somewhere in a junkyard, southern Illinois, there's a 48 Studebaker pickup and the memory of two young boys. 
It was summer of 69, I remember it to this day. My uncle took my cousin and me on a getaway. The roads are the same, but the time it's faded. Those memories, they're still here with me. All the time in Illinois that I remember as a boy, you know, those times that mean so much to me. Now my uncle got my cousin and me in the cab of that old truck. He took us out to the back roads to try our luck. Driving to grown-ups ain't no real big deal, but for two young boys driving such a thrill. The roads is the same, but the time it's faded. Those memories, they're still here with me. All the time in Illinois that I remember as a boy, you know, those times mean so much to me. Now first gear, now first gear ground and wine, my uncle's face looked pained. I think he was saying a prayer under his breath. Which would give out first his clutch plate or his nerves. To this day, I think he's thinking that in his head. The roads are the same, but the time it's faded. Those memories, they're still here with me. All the time in Illinois that I remember as a boy, you know, those times that mean so much to me. As I travel down life's road, I can see It ain't always as smooth as it could be With family and friends and people like Uncle Bill I know I could travel it easily The roads are the same, but the time it's faded Those memories, they're still here with me All the time in Illinois I remember as a boy, you know, those times that mean so much to me. Yeah, the time in Illinois that I remember as a boy, you know, those times that mean so much to me. Forty eight student baker. And, and again, I apologize about, uh, I don't know on your end if you, if you can hear the guitar problems, but uh, the, this is not the greatest time in the world to have two guitars going down when you're a singer-songwriter, and uh, Steve's been excellent um, getting, getting me parts for cost and stuff like that, but still, it's just kind of sad. Anyway, who cares? If it's sad or not sad, it, it is what it is. Okay. All right, here, here it is. I promised you guys I was going to do this. This was a, uh, this is supposed to be for a St. Patrick's Day, especially a St. Patrick's Day party. If there are kids in the room, cover their ears. Because this is, this is a little uh, racy uh, type of song. So uh, it goes just like this. <clears throat> Scotsman dressed in kilt. Left the bar one evening fair. One could tell by the way he walked, he drunk more than his share. He staggered round until he could no longer keep his feet. Then stumbled off into the grass to sleep beside the street. Ring ding diddle 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 oh, ring di diddle i a. He staggered off into the grass to sleep beside the street. About that time, two young and lovely lasses happened by. One says to the other with a twinkle in her eye, See on sleeping Scotsman so strong and handsome built. I wonder if it's true what they don't wear beneath their kilt. Ring ding diddle 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 oh, ring di diddle diddle i a. I wonder if it's true what they don't wear beneath their kilt. They stuck up on the Scotsman as quiet as could be. They lifted up his kilt about an inch so they could see. Lo and behold, for them to view beneath his Scottish skirt 
was nothing more than God had graced him with upon his birth. Ring ding diddle 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 o, ring di diddle i a. Nothing more than God had graced him with upon his birth. They marveled for a moment. Then they said, we must be gone. Let's leave a souvenir for him before we travel on. As a gift, they left a blue silk ribbon tied into a bow. Around the bonny star of the Scots kilt lift and show. Ring ding diddle 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 oh, ring di diddle i a. Beneath, upon the bonny star of the Scots kilt lift and show. Scotsman woke to nature's call and he headed towards a tree. He lifted up his kilt and he gawked at what he sees. And in a drunken voice he said to what's before his eyes, Lad, I don't know where you've been, but I see you've won first prize. Ring ding diddle 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 o, ring di diddle i a. Lad, I don't know where you've been, but I see you've won first prize. Not done yet. Our Scottish friends, still dressed in kilt, continued down the street. He hadn't gone very far when a lassie chanced to meet. I've heard it said, what's up there, sir? Tell me, is it so? Just stick your hand right up there, lass, if you'd really like to know. Ring ding diddle 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 o, ring di diddle i a. Just stick your hand right up there, lass, if you'd really like to know. She stuck her hand up in his kilt, and much to her surprise, the Scottish... The Scotsman smiled and a strange look came into his eyes. Why, sir, she cried, that's gruesome. The Scotsman, he then roared. Stick your hand up once again, you'll find it's gruesome more. Ring ding diddle 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 o, ring di diddle i a. Stick your hand up once again, you'll find it's gruesome more. I didn't write it. Send your letters too. So thank you all so much for coming in and, and watching tonight. Um, making the scene from quarantine. I'm figuring a, about a month out, I'll finally remember my own title that I made up for this thing. Uh, if if you're so inclined, uh, we ha I have gotten some some uh, tips on on these sites here from some folks, and thank you so much for that. It's it's been very helpful, and uh, that's going to go into a fund that's going to go for p fixing the two girls before I have to get it back out on the road because. Can't be having guitar guitar issues on stage. I don't want to be having them here when I'm playing for you guys. So uh, what I'm probably going to end up doing is pulling um, the uh, the old Guild guitar back out and, and uh, stringing her up, and and we're just going to to have to mic that. So thank thank you all so much. I'll try to get back here tomorrow to do some more songs for you. You know what? I'm not going to try. I will. There is no try. There's only do, and. Never mind. Um, so thank you all so much. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Take care of the earth. Stay well and stay home unless you absolutely have to go out. And when you go out, take some hand cleaner, hand sanitizer, and just wear a hazmat suit. That's probably the best way to do it. Okay, God bless you all, and I will talk to you tomorrow. This is Dave on the scene, making the scene from quarantine. See you tomorrow. Peace out.